Yeah, you're doing it right. This is getting tighter. Righty tighty. <laughs> Am I doing something? <laughs> you gotta, there you hear, you gotta wanna hear that sound. Click, 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 click. Go all the way to the left. All the way to the left. There it is. What do you think? Where'd you go? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> there you are. <laughs> hey, nice job. I love it. Well, after a long day of highway driving yesterday, um, eight hours of it, um, we're out here on the famous Mojave Road uh, for another long day of driving. But although this is bumpy, it's fun. And we're out here with cousin Jim and Uncle Dwayne. And this is our first trek of its kind out here. Thankfully, cousin Jim knows a lot about off-roading, uh, knows some of the signals and the ins and outs of road etiquette. So, this is good. Oh, this is a big rock. Okay, I think I can clear it. Uh, yep, yeah, did it. Okay, and um, it's nice to have a spotter with some experience for some of those uh, tougher, trickier spots uh, toward the beginning of this trail. So, we're taking this east to west, and it's about, whoa, 130 miles, and it's not all 
like this. But this part definitely is. You did it too fast, I was coming back to take a picture. So yeah, I bought this FJ Cruiser. I don't know what happened, but one night I just caught a little bug and started scouring the internet all the way from like Idaho to Phoenix, Arizona, looking for an FJ Cruiser at a reasonable price because they're all outlandishly priced. Um, and I stumbled across this little one out in Bakersfield, California, of all places, my hometown. Bought it off a nice little old lady who used this as her daily driver. And little old grandma put 200,000 miles on this 2007, which was in pretty good shape. Uh, had a little smell in it. I had to get that out. I had to get it smogged. Um, got some work done, some routine maintenance. Uh, I had to change out a CV axle. Uh, but then the fun happened. And we put new wheels, and tires on this bad boy and also some fancy new suspension because it actually needed it. The rear struts were leaking. I think that's what you call them. And um, now it's uh, riding like a beast. So we're out here with Uncle Dwayne and Cousin Jim and trying to make this happen. I'm gonna concentrate on driving. To like a little massage. I was just gonna say something about that. If you get in the right swing of thing, it's kind of like a yoga. Session. Is this anything like goat yoga? This part's hella mid, as the kids say. Oh, I gotta pee too. Oh. Cameron Broadcasting Stations. Isn't it funny that people used to say, top of tour griddle cakes and a sausage McMuffin with egg? I can mix and match both for just a... Found the biggest rock here, Allie. Ooh. Oh. All right, you got me going up here like the canary in the coal mine. And then uh, Jim gets to spot Dwayne. And then he gets to do it himself. So by the time he comes up, 
He's got this like a pro. All right, getting uh, pretty late here on day one, about 30 miles in, and sun setting. We still need to find camp. Jim's got something going on with his rubbing on his tires, maybe making some noise. We'll figure it out. Straighten it up, uh, back to driver. Slow down. Shoot. Hold on one second. The guy with the mic can't say shoot. That's not allowed. Hey, my lights work. Your lights work. <laughs> oh, we made it to camp. I can't believe it. That was tough, man. That wasn't easy. This is not a uh, amateur. They say this is an amateur trail. Well, I don't want to go on a stock four wheel drive. Stock four wheel drive. Better than that, a sprinter van. Yeah, Sprinter Van. Well, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't want a road rougher than this. I, this is fine. That was that was worth it. But we're here now, and I'm ready for camp. You know what the elevation is here? Hi. I'm kind of out of breath. I don't know if I'm lazy or... I don't think it's... That <sighs> That was a long, tough day. I'm exhausted. Good night. Water. It's frozen. All right, uh, tell my wife I love her. 